Over 200 lives lost in an instant. World Cup dreams forever dashed. These aren't just plane crashes, they're moments that devastated the world of football. Let's explore the seven most heartbreaking aviation incidents that shook the football world. Number one, the Munich air disaster. On the 6th of February, 1958, the Manchester United team of the time was on a flight from Belgrade to Manchester and stopped at Zurich for a refuel. Along with the Manchester United football team, the plane carried their supporters and journalists to have a total of 44 people on board. Once refueled, the pilot attempted to take off twice, but both times were unsuccessful due to engine surging issues in the left engine. Worried about straying any further from their schedule, the pilot decided not to stay overnight in Zurich and attempt a third takeoff. This would become a life-changing, catastrophic decision. By the time of the third takeoff, falling snow had created a slush at the end of the runway. And when the plane hit that slush, it tore through the runway's fence, speeding ahead uncontrollably. The left wing tore off once it struck a house, and the tail section broke off and hit a barn with a parked fuel truck inside. That fuel truck caught fire and exploded, causing the passengers of the plane to frantically evacuate out of fear of the plane exploding as well. Out of the 44 lives on board, 20 had died at the scene and three died later in the hospital, leaving 20 survivors to the tragedy. Amongst the victims was Ray Woods, the goalkeeper for Manchester United. Ray sustained a broken jaw and multiple broken bones, and despite this, he played for various different teams post-accident, including Huddersfield Town, Bradford City, Brumley, and Lincoln City. He also managed for teams in the US, Ireland, Zambia, Canada, Greece, Kenya, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates. Number two, the Zambia national team plane crash. In what would later be known as the Gabon Air Disaster, a plane carrying most of the Zambia national football team to the 1994 FIFA World Cup qualifier became one of the deadliest aviation disasters in football history. It was the 27th of April, 1993, and the Zambia Air Force had arranged a specific flight for the football team. This flight had three scheduled refueling stops, and although there were some problems at the first stop, the flight continued to the second. It was at this second stop that the left engine of the plane caught fire. The pilot had then mistakenly shut down the right engine, which caused the plane to lose all power during the takeoff. As a result, the plane fell into the water and was submerged around 1,600 feet deep. It was concluded that there was a faulty warning light on the plane, and that contributed to the disaster. All 30 passengers and crew, as well as the 18 players of the national team, the coach, and the support staff, died in the accident. In 2012, Zambia won the African Cup of Nations held only a couple hundred meters away from the scene of the incident, and the victory was dedicated to the lives lost in the tragedy. Number three, the Superga air disaster. The tragedy of Superga, also known as the Superga air disaster, was a devastating crash that occurred on May 4, 1949. An Italian Airlines flight carrying the Torino football team was approximately 30 minutes of travel away from its destination, Piedmont, when the already poor weather significantly worsened. Weather conditions were described as clouds almost touching the ground, showers, strong southwest wind gusts, and very poor horizontal visibility. It is believed that the plane had returned to level flight and aligned in preparation for landing when it crashed into the embankment of Superga Hill. The pilot most likely did not see the hill until it was much too late as visibility was estimated to be around 40 meters. The wreckage also showed no signs of any attempt to go around the hill. Out of the 27 passengers and four crew, not a single person survived. This tragedy shook Italy to its core and half a million people took to the streets as a show of solidarity on the funeral date. Pieces of the wreckage and some salvaged belongings of the passengers 
are still held in a museum near Turin. Number four, the Alianza Lima air disaster. On the 8th of December, 1987, the majority of the Alianza football club was on a flight taking them to their match against a rival football club. This flight would be shrouded with mystery and tragedy as out of the 44 occupants, only one would survive. The flight seemed to be routine up until landing, as when the crew began lowering, the left and right main gear displayed green lights, which indicated something different from what the nose gear displayed. The captain requested a consultation with the flight manual, however. Due to the manual being written in English, the incorrect procedure was followed. While over the water, the plane was flown too low, and as a result, the right wing struck the surface of the ocean. The airliner broke up on impact and forward fuselage sank. The pilot, who would be the sole survivor, managed to exit the plane from the hole in the fuselage and rose to the surface where he was joined by another occupant of the plane, footballer Alfredo Tomasini. The pilot managed this by trapping air in some clothing which served as a flotation device. Hours passed and the pilot and Alfredo Tomasini drifted apart in the powerful waters. When the search and rescue team rescued the pilot after 11 hours in the water, they learned that Alfredo had unfortunately already drowned and sustained a broken leg and other injuries from the crash. Post-flight, the Peruvian Navy refused to release a statement and did not permit any private investigations into the cause of the crash. Shockingly, it would later be discovered that the pilot had failed a training course to prevent disorientation under pressure, but was still permitted to pilot regardless, and that the co-pilot had flown only one hour in the 90 days prior to the incident flight. The plane itself contained several mechanical defects and should not have been flown in its condition. A tragic day for Peru and the world at large. Number five. La Mia Flight 2933. Out of the 77 people on board La Mia's Flight 2933, 71 would die. On the 28th of November 2016, the first team squad of Chapecoense, a Brazilian football club, was scheduled to play in the Copa Sudamericana finals. As a Bolivian charter flight, it was flying from Santa Cruz de la Sierra in Bolivia to Medellin, Colombia. The flight had crashed near Medellin as a result of fuel exhaustion because the crew did not refuel during the journey. The accident took the lives of football players, coaching staff, journalists, and crew members. Six people survived, including three players from the Chapecoense team. An investigation report concluded the charter airline had inappropriately planned the flight without considering the amount of fuel that would be needed. Number six, Chile Flight 107. Land Chile Flight 107 was a standard international flight from the Chilean capital, Santiago to Buenos Aires in Argentina. On February 6, 1965, all 87 occupants of the flight would die in the subsequent crash. This number includes the 22 players and staff of Santiago's Antonio Varas football team who were traveling to Uruguay for a match. When the airplane was at flight level 120, it crashed into the side of La Corona Mountain, around 1,200 feet below its summit. As of 2023, Flight 107 was the deadliest aviation disaster in Chilean history. Given the magnitude of the crash and the effect it had on the Chilean people, a thorough investigation was launched into the cause of the accident. An investigation board attributed the accident to the pilot's decision to follow a route that was not approved by a flight plan or an operations manual. The weather was concluded to not be a factor contributing to the accident. Number seven, Suriname Airways Flight 764. On the fateful day of June 7, 1989, the bulk of the Surinamese football team boarded a Suriname Airways flight that would be their last departing from Amsterdam and scheduled to land in Paramaribo, Suriname, this international flight was taking the team to their charity match. Marred today as one of the deadliest flights in Surinamese history, this tragedy left the world in shock. When the pilot was attempting a landing, the plane's number two engine struck a tree that was around 82 feet above the ground. Then, 
The outboard right wing struck another tree, shearing it off and causing the plane to roll over and collide with the ground inverted. Out of the 187 people who boarded this deadly flight, only 11 had survived. Three of the football athletes have survived, one was never able to play again, another partially recovered and walked with a limp, and the third was able to play again for a short time but was forced to retire early, his accident having had affected his physical prowess. The final investigation concluded that the crash was caused by the pilot's error and poor navigation skills. That wraps up the seven craziest aviation disasters in football history. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel.